Hey guys, I'm DJ Source, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dubstep wobble in Mixcraft 5. Alright, there's a couple different ways you can do this and a couple different sounds you can get out of this as well, but this is one way. But honestly, it just depends on what you need for your song or whatever sound you need. Alright, to start this off, you're going to click VSTI Instruments. You're going to go down to the Impulse synthesizer and you're gonna click the little drop down arrow and you're gonna find synth bass somewhere in that list there it is and click edit right next to synth bass the preset and there's a couple different ways like I said you can do this I like to turn the two detune knobs down because I'm a little OCD and I don't like the thought of something being detuned I honestly don't know if it matters but I just don't like the thought of it and go ahead and put a note on the piano roll just to have so you can hear what you're doing all right open back up the synthesizer and what you're gonna do after you turn the detune down honestly that doesn't matter once again but right now turn the filter all the way up that's the most important part and that's where your modulation comes in and you can speed up the frequency and you can slow it down to whatever you need and that part's just whatever you need for your song and this part doesn't matter it just gives you a different sound but if you go down to stereo effects and click on the on button it'll give you kind of a delayed sound and you can mess with the delay buttons and stuff and that just gives you a different sound. If you go to the filter panel and mess with the cutoff and res knobs, those will give you different sounds too. The res will uh, make kind of a wet sound. And I don't know, that's just what I think. And that's pretty much it. Just mess around with those sounds until you get what you want. For the next part, uh, you're going to do the same exact thing as last time with the impulse synthesizer. It's just an effect that you're going to put on. So just do the same thing. Put a note on the piano roll. Relatively low, by the way. And, uh, okay. After you get all your, uh, your wobble bass sounds, open up Bait Crusher. And you're going to have to make a custom, so click edit. The distortion types at the top, I usually use the third one. You're going to go down to uh, down sampling, and from there it's up to you. You just kind of move the down sampling around to kind of make a yeah sound. And that's pretty much it. Just mess around with your uh, bit crusher and synthesizers, and you'll have a good bass sound. And there you go.